In just a short time, you can assemble the Bubble Fun Scooter. You'll want a small Phillips screwdriver. The other tools you'll need are inside the package, a bolt wrench and two socket wrenches. First, lay out the scooter's parts and the owner's manual. Let's begin by assembling the rear axle and wheels. Install one lock nut onto one end of the axle. Place one wheel on the axle. Make sure the red holes of the wheel disc face the nut. Place one bushing on the axle against the wheel. Slide this assembly through the rear axle housing until the axle completely goes through the housing and sticks out the other side. Add the other bushing and then the wheel onto the axle. Now, add the lock nut with the blue ring on the outside onto the axle. Now, securely tighten the lock nuts on both wheels using the socket wrenches. Make sure the wheels turn easily. Let's add the hubcaps. Line up the posts of one hubcap with the holes on the wheel and press the hubcap firmly into place. Repeat for the other side. Now, assemble the fork and handlebar. Remove the black cap from the top of the fork tube. Place one thin washer on the fork tube. Make sure the slot of the fork assembly faces the back of the scooter. Next, insert the fork assembly up into the scooter's head tube. Make sure the head tube bushings are fully seated. That is, the bushings should have a good snug fit. Place the second thin washer on top of the fork tube. Use the bolt wrench that was included with the scooter to loosen the clamp. Add the clamp to the top of the fork tube. Now, make sure the handlebar curves back and the basket mount holes face the back. Then, attach the handlebar to the steer tube with the screws, washers, and nuts you received. Okay. Insert each screw from the top down into the recessed part of the hole. Rotate the screw as needed until it fully rests in the square hole. Then, add the washer and nut. Repeat for the other side of the handlebar and securely tighten both nuts. Remove the black cap from the base of the steer tube. Loosen the basket's screw and then slide the basket up the steer tube. Position the basket at the mount hole and securely tighten the screw. Be sure not to over tighten. Slide the clamp cover up the steer tube and out of the way. With the handlebar curving back, insert the handlebar assembly down into the fork tube as far as it will go. With the handlebar curved back towards the scooter deck, line up the handlebar with the fork wheel assembly and securely tighten the clamp. Then, slide the clamp cover down over the clamp. Make sure that the handlebar and the front wheel easily turn together. To apply the decal, pull off the backing. Center the decal on the steer tube, then smoothly and evenly apply. Attach the handlebar pad to the handlebar by opening and placing it straight down over the handlebar and using the hook and loop straps. Fasten securely. Now let's set up the bubble blower. To install the batteries, not included but sold separately, remove the screw and battery door. Install three AAA batteries, matching the positive and negative signs on the batteries with the signs inside the reservoir. Replace the battery door and screw. Hold the unit upright and unscrew the bubble solution container. If refilling, hold it level so it does not spill any liquid inside. Fill the bubble reservoir with bubble solution to the bottom of the lip. Reinstall the bubble reservoir, being careful not to bend the flow tubes. Twist the bubble reservoir until it is securely in place. Slide the bubble blower unit back and snap it into place. That snap is important because it means the unit is locked in place and will operate properly. Then, switch on the bubble maker and let it run for 5 to 10 seconds. If bubbles don't appear after 10 seconds, gently pat a paper towel over the pump to prime the bubble action. Bubbles should quickly begin. And now, this scooter is ready for your little racer to ride. Have fun!